Hi there, I'm Stefan Holt, and this is News 4 Now for Monday, March 2nd. A quick check of the weather. Have some rain rolling in tonight. Tomorrow starts off dry, but we could get some more showers in the evening time. High temperatures will be in the upper 50s. Now we want to turn to the news and everything we know about the first confirmed case of the novel coronavirus here in the city. The patient is a 39 year old healthcare worker who lives in Manhattan. She had just gotten back from a trip to Iran on Tuesday, where they are fighting one of the biggest outbreaks outside of China. Officials say she took a car home from the airport and has not been on public transit. She's now in isolation at her apartment along with her husband. We're told her symptoms are mild and that they expect her husband to test positive too. Governor Andrew Cuomo and Mayor Bill de Blasio both say we should expect more cases. Anyone who's worried has every right to be worried. Anyone who's scared that this could turn into something much bigger has every right to be. But what we know essentially is the vast majority of people on earth who get this, they have it, they get through it, it's over. In Washington state, the death toll from a COVID-19 cluster has increased to six. All the patients were in their 70s and 80s. The state has 22 cases, and researchers say the virus may have been spreading undetected for weeks. Globally, there are more than 90,000 confirmed cases and 3,000 deaths. Now let's turn to Wall Street, which saw a big rebound after the worst week since the financial crisis. The Dow ticked up about 1,200 points today. That's the biggest single-day point gain in the index's history. It comes after a seven-day sell-off fueled by fears the virus may hurt the economy. From the financial district, let's head uptown to MSG, where the Knicks have just named a new team president. Meet Leon Rose. He's an agent who represented Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul, and other NBA stars. He's replacing Steve Mills, who left the team last month. The letter to fans, Rose said he's going to do everything he can to bring the team back to success. And finally, here's something you probably don't see much of anymore. Pay phones. Believe it or not, there are still 3,000 across the city. We're told they're all going to be removed in the next few months. The city says that will make more space on the sidewalk, but some will be turned into Link NYC kiosks. And that's going to do it for News for Now. But keep watching for more news, investigations, and features. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking in.